Hey there humans, it's Hulkire, and today it's time to change Geometry Dash. Here I present you the first official release of the Syncatron, a tool with which you'll be able to create sync perfect guidelines to your GD levels, mega collabs or layouts, to achieve the perfect sync you've always wanted. Now let's proceed to explain how it works. Uh, beforehand I will say that I've only tested this on Windows, so I think I'm this will not work, I'm afraid this will not work for either Mac or Linux users, or Linux users, uh, so I'm sorry for that. First of all, download and extract the Syncatron, uh, the link will be in the description, uh, to a folder of your liking. Second, you're gonna need to install uh, Node.js, uh, just look it up on Google, Node.js, just like that, and download the LTS version, the long-term support version. Uh, just install it, uh, it should be pretty straightforward, so I'm not gonna do it myself, also I have it installed already. Once you've got that ready, uh, you're gonna need to install OS. Uh, just look it up as well, OS, and download OS. Yeah, download, and uh, create an account as well, you're gonna need to create an account as well. Log into your account, it shouldn't be too harsh, so I'm not gonna do it either. It's just normal procedure and make sure you're uh, logged in for the next uh, step. Now we need to choose the song. Uh, two things can happen here. Someone has already done a good map with the song or nobody has done it. Imagine the, the first song we want to create a layout with is uh, a Will Stenson, uh, Will well, the fuck can speak, Will Stenson's remake of Harumachi Clover. Yeah, well, you just have to type Stenson Harumachi Clover into the bitmaps. Once you have done this, you're gonna realize there's a lot of songs here. You're gonna have to select one. Make sure it matches the name and the author of the song. The anything below it doesn't matter as long as it has an OS bitmap and it has a leaderboard. So make sure to select in mode OS and in categories has leaderboard. Now, whenever you open the map, you're gonna see there's a lot of difficulties, probably, and there's there might even be some other modes difficulty, but we want to choose one that is from the OS game mode. So I'm going to select this one, you can choose another one. Typically, songs with lower stars tend to have less notes, and thus, they will have less guidelines in Jump to Dash. So if you want a lot of guidelines, select a higher one. So I'm going to select this one. And now you just have to go to File, Open song folder, look for the map, the OS file, with the name of the song you opened in the editor mode. In this case, it is Oh No, as you can see from here, Oh No. So it is this one. Copy this one and go to the folder in which you is extracted the, um, the Syncatron, which is this one. Go into OS maps and paste the song. I would recommend to name to rename it as well, so I'm going to call it Haru, just like that. Having said that, what if this song you want has really weird notes and you want to put the notes yourself? Really easy, go to File, create a new difficulty, name it something, for example GD, delete all the notes and just place them yourself. I'm going to place like 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. For example, that might be enough for me. For example, if you want more notes, you can change the divisor up to 1 16th. So you can create a lot of guidelines if you want to, but I'm going to go with this. I'm going to save the map. Remember to save and do the same thing. File, open, and I'm going to do for GD, which is the name that I put myself. Copy the file, Syncatron, Osmaps, paste the file. And this is gonna be Haru Dos, Haru 2, I mean, for example. But, there's another case. What if the song that you want is not uh, timed? So it doesn't sync to the, to the rhythm when you place the notes. I'm going to leave a video in the description for that because that is uh, a pretty, not complex, but time consuming topic. And that video does explain it way better than I would be able to explain it in this video. So go check that out. But anyway, uh, at this point in the video, you should have a map inside the awesome maps folder of the Syncatron. Now, what we're going to do now is pretty simple. Just open the PowerShell 
like that. Just click here and just type PowerShell. All right, easy. Before typing anything inside here though, we have to open, well, we have to make sure we have a level on top of our geometry task. I'm going to delete this one, this is not good. I'm going to call this Haru because it's my level. And I'm going to assign it the ID with the sum, which is 332. I put this inside the folder uh, before. So as you can see, it is indeed the Haru Magic Clover sum. All good. Uh, now save and exit, really important. Save and exit, uh, make sure you save. That is the, the main thing. And close your to dash. You cannot leave it open, you have to close it. Now, whenever this is done, just type node dot slash js slash rhythm dot js. It's going to ask you for the name that you put before. I'm going to put Haru because it is the first one. And the file has been written, so that means that the guidelines should now be inside of the level. And as we can see, they're going to be or else. Look at that, perfect. Now the guidelines are done. Uh, this might suffice for you, but for more advanced users that might want like some more precise clicks, I have also implemented that. If you want just simple sync, this should work, but I do recommend you watch the rest of the video. I'm going to select spider, spider and 1x speed. Okay, this is the main thing. And I'm going to listen to the song and click to the sync. Uh, of the song without looking at the guidelines. Okay, so there's a big problem here, as you can see. Uh, these guidelines, these two guidelines, should have been here. So that is a big problem. This is one of the things that I do not understand about GD guidelines. I don't know what Raptor did with them, but this is what we have to work with. But it is really simple to fix though. Just place a block. I would recommend to get the Mega Hacks v V6 for this, but you can also do it with the normal without the hack. Just place a block and scale it up until one of the edges is right at the guideline and the other edge is right where you clicked with the spider. As you can see, this is the point that I'm looking for in the spider and this is the line that I'm looking for in the in the guidelines. So this should work. As you can see, there's one edge right where the spider clicked, or where I clicked with the spider, and another edge right at the guideline. So just take a note of this number 2.57. Alright, save and exit as well. Remember to save and exit, and then close the game. Okay, simple. Go in here and type the same thing. You can just press up arrow but then space hard. Now just put Haru as well, and then it's gonna ask you for a number. Uh, this is the offset from the guideline to the actual click in one X speed. So this is what we just did, so it is 2.57, just that. And now if we open the game, you're gonna see that magically the guidelines should be right at the other edge of the block. Look at that, perfect. Now they are actually synced. And if I play the level now, And as you can see, the sync is pretty much perfect. Every single click is matched perfectly, but you might not be happy with this. You might say, oh my God, you click so early here. So what we have to do is retime the song. Now, this is a bit complicated because now we don't have the absolute position of the guideline. So this is moved 2.57 blocks forward. So. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna place the block. Remember that we did it uh, from left 
to right and the number was positive. In this case, the click is before the guidelines, so the number will be negative. In order to calculate it, we do the same thing. In this case, it is about 0 0.41 or 42, something like that. Yep. If you don't have this scale hack, you can just use these ones. Remember, this uh, this is 0 0.5, so if we do it like this, this will be, which number? This will be, let's say, 0 0.81, but it's going to be 0 0.405 because it is half. Because this scale is of a block that is half the size of a normal block. So just use that. Just divide this by two. And if you want even smaller, you can use this block here. So we can do one point, how much? 1.58 or even bigger, maybe? Yeah, 1.63 and divide that, uh, in this case, by four because it is four times smaller than a normal block. And this also yields us around 0 0.4 something. As you can see, 1.6 divided by four is indeed 0 0.4. So we have the number, it is 0 0.4. But what do we do with that number? I'm gonna save and exit. Do you guys remember that we put 2.57 before? So we're gonna, the guidelines were positioned at 2.57 and now they have to move 0 0.4 backwards. So we would have to do 2.57 minus 0 0.4, 4, which in this case is 2.17. So we execute the same command as before, Haru, switch down, and we put 2.17. And now if we open the game again, the guidelines should be at the right side of this block. Perfect. It is indeed perfectly synced. Now, if you want to repeat this, just do it again. Do the clicks, check where the guideline and the click is at. And if it is after the guideline, it is a positive number. So you have to add it to the previous value. But if it is before the guideline, you have to subtract it. It is that simple. And once you've done that, well, you can just start building your layouts uh, with the perfect thing that these guidelines yield. Thanks for watching and if you have any problems, I'm going to leave my Discord server in the description. I'm going to create a channel just for this. So any problems that you might have, any errors that I might throw. If you want another explanation of the scale method to calculate uh, how well the guidelines have to sync, just ask me as well. I might do another video about that. And just any problems that you might have, I'm going to try to solve them because yeah, this is kind of scuffed, but it works. It that it definitely works and I have done uh, several layouts with this method such as the Arid Sanctuary one that is one that I've done with this and it really helped me a lot that being said thanks for watching I'll see you next time remember to subscribe why not dude it is absolutely free so yeah thanks for coming again <laughs> and I'll see you next time see ya